October 2019, our dream was to travel through Europe in our caravan, and we almost did it. We came as far as Portugal, and now we are stuck in uh, paradise. Welcome to the Nylands Caravan Adventures. We are the crazy family who sold everything and bought a caravan and are traveling through Europe. Feel curious? I sure do. Please join us. Here we are in uh, Portugal, uh, the 14th of March, and uh, we are close to Lagos. We were supposed to head for Italy right now, but uh, because of the corona and consequences, we are not moving at all right now. Uh, when all the country is shutting down their borders, it's starting to get uh, a bit difficult for us. Who's <laughs> on this Euro travel trip? We are stuck in Portugal for now. Or we're not stuck stuck. We could probably move. Yet. We're not stuck yet. No, no. as we know. Yeah. And many in our Facebook community are starting to go back home. Uh, and we are not. How is the corona <laughs> affecting the, uh, the atmosphere? right here um, in the camping we notice every day people leaving in a rush slowly or quickly we notice how uh, people are kind of escaping for home more people leaving more people leaving these were from spain so they're probably going back when we arrived, all these plots were full. You can see how we are less and less people in the camping. You can also see um, the cleaning. You have cleaners uh, washing the knobs and everything with uh, disinfectant. Yesterday they washed even the playground, which I've never seen in my whole life, seriously. So, um, you notice the efforts of this camping, at least, of uh, maintaining hygiene. So I went to the store yesterday and it was crazy. A lot of people hoarding, mostly water. Everyone had shopping carts filled up to the limit with uh, large water bottles. And uh, in the fridges it was almost empty the uh, toilet paper aisle was empty everyone was buying a lot of rice a lot of pasta and there was a lot of people do you feel like we should if we were able to uh, stock up or hoard well right now i don't feel like it but before <laughs> like three weeks ago when my uh, mommy and mine started working then i tried to go and port with simon but he thought i was so silly so i yeah. ended up <laughs> <laughs> buying two packs of pasta two pasta bolognese and two pesto yeah that was the, then he shamed me from buying any more yeah but we're <laughs> always on the limit uh, weight wise yeah. when we're driving today i'm gonna go shopping it's gonna be super interesting to see how it is. As you can see, they have a uh, security at the gate, so we're on lockdown. I've just been out shopping. Uh, it was a weird experience. People going around with scarves around their mouths and nose. Uh, everyone wearing gloves and looking kind of scared. Never been in a shop where people are scared before. So what will we do? Well, I don't know. We'll we, just... We, we don't know. We, we had a plan, yeah. then we changed the plan, and then we changed the plan, and now we're <laughs> on our way to change the plan again. So we don't yeah. know. We, uh, we're gonna stay here for a few more days, maybe even longer. And then we'll see if we're going to continue north in Portugal mm -hmm. to Bilbao. Yeah. In Spain. In Spain. And then try to get uh, 
through the border to France mm -hmm. on the west side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or or we had the idea that we would go through uh, uh, Madrid. Yeah. And then uh, through Barcelona and up on the east coast. east coast. Good morning. I woke up to the news that they closed the regions in Spain that we were gonna take up to France. So yeah, that's exciting. Welcome to another day in Portugal. I thought that I would come with a smaller update of uh, our experience here. It starts to feel like a smaller quarantine here. We're not allowed to leave the camping as we used to. We are only allowed to leave for supermarkets and pharmacies and such. We're not allowed to go to restaurants or visit the beach. Uh, if we leave now, we're not allowed to come back. And they don't accept any, any new guests. I went to the uh, supermarket and I had to queue for half an hour. I let one person in when another left. So, yeah, okay. We're seeing the effects of the virus. We also read that they are starting to close the, the campings, which could be scary for us because we're not uh, a small motorhome. So yeah, we have a caravan, so we're not allowed to stay at exclusive camper van stations. I don't yeah. know what you call it in English. No, and we can't just drive uh, and park and s settle down in a, in, a, in a parking lot either. So that makes it difficult for us. Today is the 22nd of March and uh, we just heard from our neighbors that the general manager of the camping uh, is going to close the camping in three days. I really don't want to drive all the way through Europe to come to a Swedish cold winterland and live in a camping that will probably also close. So I've looked up uh, an accommodation in a Airbnb and uh, I'm currently talking to the man. Got the price down a bit but it's still expensive but it looks like we can bring our caravan and it's like 15 minutes away so yeah shocking news um, expected news of course uh, we'll see how we manage today is moving day we have to climb a mountain with our caravan and these dark clouds are worrying me it won't make it easier in rain. The camping site is almost totally deserted. We are at our new accommodation. We made it up the hill. It was a nightmare. It was crazy. Totally crazy. More about climbing mountains with a two-ton caravan in our next episode. During the quarantine, we want to experience... <laughs> During the corona time, we want to talk about how we experience uh, everything as travelers. So it's... Uh...